Wer es wagt, hat keinen Mut. Wem es fehlt, dem geht es gut. Wer es besitzt, ist bettelarm. Wem es gelingt, der ist voll Harm. Wer es gibt, ist hart wie Stein. Wer es liebt, der bleibt allein. Gebeurtenissen nog onbepaald, ontvouw. Hier die vier verhaal zal voor jou die laatste vertel.
I wish to enroll. To enroll? Certainly. This way, if you please. Keine Bewegung, bitte. Moment! Ben Mentor, I'm here to enroll. <coughs> These are students I have hammered into Europe. Bitte, setzen. Asseyez-vous. So, Name, Date of Birth, besondere Kennzeichen. Weiter und so weiter. Etc. 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 Das ist. Von Gunten. 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000. Jakob. A few other details, Herr von Gunten. Ja. Ganz gute Reaktion. I have sought entrance to the Institute Benjamenta as a student in order to acquire the necessary knowledge for being a servant, as I have no high hopes of life. I hope. No, I am quite certain that I am fit. I. Oh. 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 I, I hope I am quite certain that in some measure I am fit to be of service to someone in this life. To someone in this life.
Ja, Jakob von Gunten wishes to affirm that. That wishes to affirm that it is a matter of indifference to him what he is ordered to do. Six, seven, eight, nine. As his modesty knows no bounds. Your hair is short. There is an epidemic of ticks in the forest here. You can put aside any idea of preferential treatment. You're all one size here. Go now, von Gunten. The class of life has already started. Don't I get a receipt? Go, out! Kapital hat zwölf Ende. Flammenartige Perlen und die Stangen. I refer you to your manuals, the chapter headed, The Divine Duty of Servants. Jakob van Gunten. Goed. Herr Jakob, these are your fellow students. Kraus. Eau Claire, Barcelonette. Fridolin, Fisselövede. Schelinski. Mi petar tikva. Jürgensen, Aarhus. Hebling, Fnertenbärbel. Peppino, da Grigento. Inigo, Euskadi Coa. One, 
We have to learn the rules by heart. There is but one lesson here, endlessly repeated, over and over again. One will learn very little here. None of us will amount to much. Later in life, we shall all be something very small and subordinate. Unfolded and pressed at all times are his lips. Except to say, yes, sir, at once, sir, of course, sir. Next page. Herr Jakob, will you please join us next time? Three. The satisfaction of his master shall be the servant's heaven. The woeful opposite is his annihilating hell. I won't stand up until you promise me a decent room to sleep in, Fräulein Benjamin, I beg of you. you. You won't ever, never, never, never have to complain about my behavior again. Is that so? I shall never have to complain. Such a fuss about where to lay your head.
Is this more to your liking? Well, it, it's small, and the window scarcely merits the name. There are no curtains, but don't be angry, Fräulein. I like it. Even if the sun never gets looking, I, I like it. Thank you. Well. Well, now my comrades are sure to feel offended. And now be quiet, Herr Jakob. Class commences at eight. Class will collect you. Good night. I shall never let myself be rescued. Nor shall I ever rescue anybody. Can't there be a light in the light instead of just in the dark? Perhaps I shall never put out roots and branches. <laughs> One day, some fragrance will issue from my being and I will flower. I will bow my head my arms and legs will sag, everything will wither and fade, and I will be dead. Not really dead. Only in a certain sort of way. Dead. Then I will go on dying for perhaps another 60 years. <laughs> Instead of older, I grew younger. Whoever thinks this possible will be happy for the rest of his life. Once great snowflakes fell in the castle courtyard. To live on here until the winter only. Then when it begins to snow, oh, it will snow upon us so gently, so intensely, in such an immense silence. Neither beginning nor end. Everything in a grey, white, snowing. No more sky, no more air. No more 
our streets. Sometimes more life lies hidden in the opening of a door than in a question. Past and future circle about us. Now we know more. Now we know less. To the deer forests. And what was the institute before it was the institute?
Is life sketching a more subtle sketch than I? Yet I find the things Fräulein Benjamenta teaches us worth knowing. It isn't much, and we are always revising. But perhaps there is some hidden meaning to all these nothings. a thing and it is as if it possessed us. Not we possess it, but it us.
the cat from the tall tree in the garden. Sir, I have rescued the cat from the tall tree in the garden. Be careful, I count the steeple, it is wobbling. Be careful, I count the church steeple, it is wobbling. Be careful. Hans, don't eat the schnitzer, it's... Duchess, please remove your hand from my knee. Wake up, wake up, Duchess! There's a fire in the nursery! Wake up! Wake up, wake up, Duchess! There's a fire in the nursery! I have placed the children in the care of the Chief of the Fire Brigade. There's no need to worry. No, there are only minor burns to my left side. You go to the children. Forget about me. Out. He behaves as if he plans staying here for another century. Wait for it is engraved on his skull. <laughs> and 
how are you, Jakob? Are you all right? Have you settled in? Of course, Fraulein. Thank you. And you get on with the other students? I respect them all without exception. And yet you quarrel with Krauss, no? Listen to me, Jakob. God gives a Krauss to this world in order to entrust it with a deep and insoluble riddle. This riddle will never be understood because there isn't a single person alive who will guess that there is some delicate meaning behind this nameless, monosyllabic, inconspicuous Kraus. No one will ever be grateful to Kraus, nor is gratitude necessary. Kraus will never go to ruin because there will always be great and loveless difficulties confronting him. I think that I, I am perhaps the only person who realizes what we have in Kraus. Or have had in him. without students. Are these the inner chambers? Will I ever reach them? Syllabic, inconspicuous, Kraus. Tell me, don't you find life here sterile? 
Cyril, hein My mind is dying. Forgive me for speaking so intimately, for being so weak. You're probably secretly laughing at me, but watch out! See that wall? I could throw you against it so hard you would never see or hear anything again. Don't be afraid. I couldn't hurt you. <laughs> it's so nice to talk with you. Like we are almost related. The way you speak, your gestures, your mouth. Everything. It's delightful to behave in that rather weak sort of way with you. Just think. Me? You must. Confessing to you. My pathetic little worm, whom I could utterly crush if I chose to. Give me your hand. I have to tell you, you've gained my respect. And now, I have a request. Would you... <laughs> Will you be my confidant? But you may have time to think it over. Please, go. Go now.
Art were dream. The same thing, over and over again. Glaub mir, Lisa, wirklich. The moment I kept my eyes on this figure, I realized it was Jesus. Er ist large, er ist live, standing in front of me. So, he wasn't dead. He was right there before me in the snow. Tenderly beckoning to me. And with his celestial but shy eyes, all aglow, full of wondrous, terrible light, I threw my entire being into the apparition. And I asked myself, what's Jesus up to here on the edge of the city? Is there really anything for him to do in this world? To concern himself with? And if yes, what would be the most likely way he'd choose to make himself known to us? And what do you think he would look like? Nice big zero for you. It's 1.15. It always strikes our planet at this time. Plant, I said. Yes, planet. Why are there no longer any real seasons here? We never speak anymore. Lisa. People who know each other as well as we do don't need to make small talk. Who know each other as well as we do. Brother and sister, I mean. Lisa. 
Lisa. Dead. To be nothing more than dead and smiling. How I hurt beneath this sun. I have never known the hot gusts of life. Lisa. I hadn't heard the Fräulein come in. She laid her hand on my shoulder as if she were weary and needed support. I almost felt as though I belonged to her then. Come with me, Jakob. I want to show you something. How beautiful it is here, Jakob. 
If only you could see it. But you mustn't. That is not for you. Kiss the eyes. It is I, your teacher, Lisa Benimanta, who asks you. Don't let it steal your breath away. That taste is your blood. Is your heart on fire? Yes. It burns. It burns. But can it hold back the eyes? It's still there, Yoko. The eyes. It's still waiting. Suddenly, I was back, sitting at my desk. Fräulein Benimenta was still standing behind me. She stroked my cheeks, but it was as if she were comforting herself, not me. Am I living in a fairy tale?
You're not paying attention. I refer you to your manual, the chapter headed the, the Divine Duty of Servants, the section entitled Snares and Temptations, which is Cheers. Repeat after me. Sobering, succinct, salutary advice for those about to commit the sin of thinking themselves above their station. This phenomenon is known as. How everything is changing here. No new students are enrolling at the institute. 
Everything has become so f fragile. Often the Fräulein stares out of the window as if she were already living somewhere else. Yet lessons continue. We are still caught in the grip of the rules and indulge in monotonous repetitions. I've finally been inside the inner chambers. And I have to say, they don't exist. Instead of a mystery, there's only a goldfish. And Krauss has taught me how to clean out its bowl, change its water, and feed it. Fräulein Lisa said something very strange to me. Jakob, she said. Jakob. This must be for your ears only. <laughs> it's 
Something is gnawing at me. Like this. See how I am breathing on you. That is how he's breathing his cold breath on me. From behind. I'm sinking. My breath is being crushed from me. I'm dying from those who could have seen and held me. I'm dying from Emptiness of cautious and clever people. To be allowed to obey her as long as I obey her, she will live. Benjamenta. Jakob von Gunten here. You summoned me? Something very big or, or something very delicate. <laughs> you see, Jacob, how I know the words by heart? Because it is my heart that speaks them. Jacob, <laughs> couldn't we? Could we try, you and I, the low and the mighty? Could we just try to stand up to life together? Shoulder to shoulder. Side by side. But, Herr Benjamenta, you are my principal. <laughs> this place is finished. Don't you understand? I'm not accepting any more students. You were the last one. 
<laughs> you thought... The... Institut Benjamenta was one of those places here today and gone tomorrow? It's you. You are the one. It's all happened since you came. From now on, it can only be evening in this world and all about me. <laughs> Imagine me coming for you. Surely the king is dead. Twice over. Jacob. He 
Jakob. I'm so lonely. The Fräulein lay there lifeless, just as she told me she would. Her eyes were still open, not very wide, but as if she were still smiling. And it seemed to me that she must live for eternity, only to be for eternity, no living being. The sound of thy voice shall live on. We withdrew, leaving the brother with the sister, the principal with the principal less, the lonely man with the lonely woman, the living person with the dead one. I shall surely go on living. But what will become of you?
Once, I was crowned with success. The world smiled on me. But I hated the world. Hated existing. Hated those I taught to take orders. Hated myself for loving to give orders. Everything. I hated it all. But no longer. Now that I'm not a king, now I want to live. has gone. Even Klaus. <laughs> I've pronounced the Institute dead. We are free. Jakob. Jakob. Come with me. Follow me. And it will snow upon us so intensely in such immense silence, neither beginning nor end, everything in a grey, white, snowing, no more sky, no more air.
sind wir, ihr Schüler, jetzt für immer verlassen. Orella di Rudi, Orella da. Cuando comamos, el tenedor nos dirá la forma en que usted hubiera deseado que lo cogiera. En de wetenschap, dat het zo is, zal u herinnering leven houden. In us, the sound of thy voice shall live on. In die ruimde zal lei alles slapend, in gebeurtenissen nog onbepaald, ontvouw. Thank you.